Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to get private key in GoDaddy. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your GoDaddy web account. And then the next thing I'm going to show you how to create an account on GoDaddy. From any browser of your choice, launch it. And then you're definitely going to find the search bar at the top corner of your screen using any browser of your choice. Now in the search bar, go ahead and type GoDaddy.com. And it's going to take you right into the official website for GoDaddy. At the top right corner of the website, you're going to see sign up. Click on it and then it's going to take you through processes to create an account. Now you either be asked to create an account manually by filling out the details manually or you're going to be asked to create an account automatically by linking your account to either Facebook, Google or Apple. Now whichever one you choose, which option is whichever option is convenient for you. Once you have created an account successfully, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage right here on your screen where you can explore a little features to have a great experience on GoDaddy. So now that we're here, let's hop into today's tags, which is how to get your private key on GoDaddy. So right here from this homepage, head over to your profile and then from a profile, you're going to see this um, extended menu. Go ahead and click on product, my product, and it's going to take you to my product page. So from this product page right here, scroll the way down until you find web hosting. Now you're only seeing web domains and then you see website and marketing and you know product, but you cannot see web hosting. You cannot even see SSL certificate. That's because those options or those products are definitely bought. So once you have gotten, once you buy web hosting, or once you've subscribed to the premium version and you buy web host hosting, you're definitely gonna find the web hosting segment here just like it is in this domains just below domains you see web hosting and then go ahead and just besides web hosting you see manage all now click manage all and it's going to take you to the account dashboard so once you get to the account dashboard just at the top right corner you're going to find the c panel admin now click on the c panel admin and then in the c panel that's going to take you to c panel so it means you need to create a c panel account which is this is what cpanel looks like all right so once you click on cpanel admin all right then in the cpanel home page all right in the security section go ahead and click ssl slash tls now on the certified signing request which is yes i'll click generate now view or delete ssl certificate signing requests all right, so under the certificate signing request, you're gonna see an option that says generate, view, or delete SSL certificate signing request. Now complete the fields in the generate a new certificate signing request CSR session. All right, complete the fields in the generate a new certificate signing request session. You're definitely gonna find all of these things. Once you have completed the field, at the bottom of the form, click generate button. All right, and on the new page, your CSR will display in the encoded certificate signing request section, and you need to make it a copy of the CSR to request an SSL certificate. Now, once you have gotten your SSL certificate, then you can definitely find your private key right there. All right, so you need to generate a CSR certificate before you definitely get your private key. So once you have done that and then you get your SSL certificate, all right, so you need to be, make a copy of the CSR to request an SSL. And once you have gotten your SSL certificate, then just go ahead and click on SSL certificate right here in your GoDaddy because you're definitely going to find it right here. And once you click on that, it's just going to take you to the account page where you definitely find your private key. So this is pretty much the process. You can you can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video helped you search.